all the what the part two. I'm in the house. Uh, basically, because I forgot to take this thing up this morning when I was on the way to the hospital. Um, so over here, had the uh, tests on the uh, liver. Um, so it's got it's got problems, you know what I mean? But um, they're treatable, uh, which is good. It means they won't change my life yet again. Um, nothing. Well, this is all major. It means completely changing everything I do. You know, not the three D side, but you know the health side. I've been ignoring for years. Um, so apparently, I'm very lucky. I haven't got gallstones. Because normally, I should have gallstones, but I don't. But, so I won't know the details for another week. <coughs> so there you go. Uh, that's what happened today. Tomorrow is El Brain Scan uh, inside the big magnetic donut. Now I've had bloody loads of these things since I was 14 year old. Um, but this one's a bit different because it's been a long time and well I won't say anything else but I've got a feeling that things may have progressed a bit I mean well there you go so um, it's weird for me doing these things standing in the kitchen you sort of, if you wonder about the dodgy picture right at Times Square my mother bought that as a housewoman gift when we first moved in here that's why it's in the kitchen right but say uh, yes yeah, so um, you should be here tip Twitter in the background so you may have noticed I uploaded the video last night I would urge you to read uh, the comment, um, you know, the description, and also the link to the blog it links to. Um, the son last night, he's mad about art. It's like he's always leaving stuff, um, little drawings and stuff on my iPod. Right, he sticks, plays a lot on night time. Not sure this will show up. We'll see if I can find it for you. That was uh, last night's one. I'll see if I can frame it properly. So that was last night's one. Not sure what the heck that's supposed to be. That one's, he's, he keeps drawing men with penises on the face, which is quite strange. Then he leaves me little pictures like that one. <laughs> and these ones. You know, he just leaves me random stuff. We're trying to work out what the hell that is a photograph on. Answer the postcard fleets because I haven't got a bloody clue and neither's a wife. So there you go. Um, yeah, Kane invented a brand new way of concepting, digital sculpt concepting. Now, that means that's a big claim to make, but um, any of you that have ever done 2D and used basically a series of random striggles, random shapes, something like alchemy, anything like that, or just cloud brushes and shape, you know, so it's a well known technique in 2D, but there's no real equivalent in 3D for digital sculpting. The news you can get is kit bashing in, say, 3D Max or Maya, which is not the same thing, um, and it's not as intuitive. So, Kane came up with an idea, actually using ZBrush, which is quite ironic, really. Um, using things like you know the brush with the nose and the lips and basically a ball and using that just not as noses and lips but as shapes just to make a random lump especially i suppose you'd say of clay and then it's like a rorschach test and as you're sculpting and you get you know a clear build-up brush and you look at it and you think ah right and then it something will pop out now it's unique to everybody everybody will see something different and you'll never get the same thing twice and the best thing is it forces you out of the shape families and shape language that you may use all the time. Uh, I especially find this is revolutionary, right? The sculpt I sort of up last night, the idea just to illustrate the point, um, is totally different with the sort of style I normally do, right? A lot of you will realise that. It's completely different to my style. This is good, right? This is not bad, this is a good thing, because it means we'll all um, come onwards. Now the one thing I have, have asked, and that's the one thing I will fucking go mad on, is I won't have it you know, I don't mind the industry adopting it, I don't mind people using it or whatever, but please credit the little kid that came up with this. He's six and a half year old. Right? I haven't even called it the Kane Robson technique, I've told it the Kane technique for those of you that fucking hate me. But he's a six and a half year old kid, right? I will not have him ripped off wholesale and somebody else has to claim that it's their technique. The bottom line is, even if anybody had been using something like this, they hadn't told the rest of the community. I felt it was my duty to. Um, I do find it ironic that arguably one of the most important things I've put up in recent times on a video is with ZBrush. I, find, I do find the humour in that, to be quite honest. Um, it's also possible in 3D code as well, and not really possible in the same way in Woodbox. You'd have to use vector displacement stamps and stencils. Uh, the topology would be not good enough for sculpting afterwards. This is why you know a number of us have been saying that Woodbox really, really needs a mesh creation uh, sort of features now. And I think this, if anything, illustrates why the video last night does. 
because once you have mass creation people do strange things with it they're not meant to right don't try and box people in to art and to work in a certain way give them some sort of freedom and you'd be surprised what will come up with um, so that would be sort of my message to those that may concern um, and all software don't wall us in for God's sake let us experiment if a brush isn't supposed to be used with you know a certain type of jump you know what don't put any rules on just put a warning right because sometimes you'll get some rather groovy effects um, that's one of the biggest things I can say experiment break the rules because there's no rules really is there but yeah, so that's the one thing, you know, I've been a bit of wholesale over the years, and I'm not even going to go into that, because to be honest, it's not an issue for me, um, because the way I see it, if somebody has to rip me off, then they have problems coming up with ideas themselves. I don't, right? I can come up with ideas from now to bloody doomsday. Um, it's annoying sometimes, yes, but, um, you know, I think the old, it's the old thing, history will be the judge. Um, but in this case, I am protecting my son, and I also won't have him ripped off. Um, do not piss off a father. If you think I'm bad, you want to see his mother if you start pissing him off. Oh, she will not be nice about it. Regardless of who you may think you are. That includes me. Um, I've had to obey a certain set of rules before uploading this technique to make sure that, um, you know, that Kane at the end of the day is protected about us. He, is, he does have an eye for art. Um, more so with three dimensional objects like I do. And I suppose it's natural because he's grew up around art and some of the best artists in the world and I'm not about me, I'm not about, you know, I'm like every other artist, I'll look on the forums, I'll watch videos, you know, and he's been sitting there, even when he was just a baby in his bouncy, he would sit there next to me watching stuff, watching like fang videos, right, he grew up with this stuff, so it would be rather strange if he didn't come out and turn out to be a good artist at the end of it and uh, a lot of artist children end up like that, I think the next generations that are coming up are going to be uh, make us look like, you know, we're painting with our fucking fingers to be honest. Um, I know some of the older ones won't like that, but it's right. We're going to look like we're painting with our flipping fingers in 20 years' time. It really is. And look, we're really primitive in comparison to some of the stuff these kids are going to be putting in. Which I think is really fantastic, because that's what's supposed to happen, right? You're not supposed to sit as an artist and say, I'm top dog and I will remain so no matter what. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to hand on to the next generation um, and pass your knowledge on. Because if you don't, everybody starts from bloody scratch. The one thing I've never done is keep what knowledge is up here in my head to myself. And I would like to think that everybody else does the same. Although that's feasible, a lot of people won't because money is their god, it's not mine. So, anyway, tomorrow I have uh, the brain scan, where you're going to go inside a big bit metal donut. Now the trouble is, since last time, I've had a load of work done on my teeth, so I've got pins and rods and caps and God knows what else. <coughs> so I'm going to have to wear the big Darth Vader mask that goes around there. Otherwise, the magnets would basically rip my head apart. And I've got to admit, I'm a little bit nervous because uh, at the end of the day, I, I don't know if this mask works. I've never seen it working before, you know. But hopefully, I'll be still here. You know. But uh, so that's what ten to four tomorrow in Durham. So uh, I'll either have to do it beforehand, or I might have water in Durham for and something or afterwards. I'll have to see. But uh, anyway, yeah. So that's basically. I'll see what time it is. It makes a change that I've on wobbly vision, doesn't it? Have you noticed, you can tell I'm old, I'm old fart now, I've got a corded shirt on. But yeah, again, I've never said I was uh, a trendsetter, fashion wise. Besides, it's fucking warm because it's cold out there. <laughs> right. um, so yeah, that's what happened today. And um, as I say, that I would say try that technique, the cane technique, out um, because it will change the way you work and the way that you use your shape language. As I say, it's a Rorschach test for digital sculptors, and to be honest, it'll sort the men out from the boys, right? And I think that some artists out there that, have, that currently have problems maybe with concepts will suddenly take off and fly with this technique. And some of the others who are used to a more regimented regime, the way of working, may well reject it and hate it because it forces them to work a different way. I don't know. Let's see. We'll find, find out. But judging by this morning alone, uh, the reactions I've had, it's been an amazing reaction. A lot of people are seeing exactly how powerful a technique this is and remember you're not just limited to lips and noses you could use any single shape or simple mesh that you could import so then what you create would be unique to you and nobody else so there you go a little gift for the community but this one's from my son Kim. right see you all next time bye bye well I'll see you tomorrow in part three by the way i have to renumber these videos it's not video one two three is the last one said it's one two two 
So the last one will be renumbered, and this one will be one two two part two, and tomorrow will be one two two part three. Yeah, makes sense.